Darjeeling and some recipes for life, yeah. Cooking with Debbie and friends. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Cooking with Debbie and Friends. We get so many comments about that lovely song and that it continues in your head afterwards. Mm -hmm. Cooking with Debbie. Yeah, and some that are and not so friends. happy, it's stuck in their head. But <laughs> love so you. we're waiting for friends to log on, go and get a drink, get yourself some chips and salsa, um, do it, because uh, I have friends all across the nation. So some of these people are watching mm -hmm. in the evening, some are watching right around dinner time like us, and some are in between. So we have a lot of people joining and we will get to uh, the comments. We're so happy you can join us on any platform, whether it be the personal Facebook or the um, the uh, public. The fan page. I hate calling it the she fan page. She hates calling it that, but it's the I what it hate is. it. It's so obnoxious. It's not obnoxious. Um, and YouTube. So wherever you are comfortable watching, that's where we are. Go ahead and share this with a friend if you would like them to join in. And um, as as I'm waiting for people to come in, I want to talk to you about something that came up this week. Um, I had one of the people who follow me ask me if I would post uh, what we're going to cook or at least the ingredients so that she could cook at the same time. Like while we're cooking here, she could be making the same thing at home. And I thought, that's a good idea. So yeah. we're going to give it a try next week. So look for that post. I'll tell you what ingredients to buy. I'll be very, very mindful about your budget and try to get those meals aligned so that you're using it for several meals like you're using a, a yellow onion and a red onion for both meals or or sweet peppers or whatever we're we're doing so because i know that things um are a little different at the grocery store and just when i got down like how to go into a grocery store without freaking out i came home and looked at my receipt and it was so high and everything was marked up just a little bit. And so I'm keeping that in mind for you. I'm going to come up with some very budget-friendly meals. And another request I had was, Deb, we're done with this six weeks of, of nesting and, and staying at home. And I know I feel you. And it was easy to do when it was cold and you felt like you could hunker down. And we made some really good stews and soups and pastas. But now it's time to move on to something fresher and lighter. So we're going to be doing that too. Some favorites in our house for the hotter season. Some Most of the, the summertime, actually, I spend out on the grill. There are some meals that we cook inside, but we really try to keep that oven off so it's not fighting against the air conditioner all, all okay, summer long. Yeah. So, um, That's it. I'm going to start this butter. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Turn the butter off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so we want to welcome you to the 12th episode. And as the country is slowly opening up, um, unless you're in certain states where they're like just busting out of the gate. Um, but here in California, we're slowly opening carefully and thoughtfully. And Cooking with Debbie is no exception. We have opened. We have opened our show. And we have... A studio audience. A live. We have a live this, studio. In this studio. Yes, we house. have a live studio audience. Yay! <laughs> Woo! You want to get a shot of our um, studio yeah, audience? Let's do that. And we're going to bring her in right now. Let's get some And audio. she is at a safe distance. She is probably 20, 24 feet away. <laughs> yep, there you are. There You're she is. Are. <laughs> there she is. She's our studio audience member. Thank you. For coming, was the line long to get in? Yeah, I had to fight a couple people. Too. Yeah, good parking. Yeah, I got I got good parking. Okay, good. But I had to yeah. bust up the elbow, so yeah. we're good. Yeah, but you made, made it. it. You made it. You made it. Made it here. Oh my god, you're the biggest fan. You oh thank you. You're I've been following you for like 22 years. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who don't know, this is Pilar Townsend, our daughter, our baby, our sweetie, and Pilar is a essential worker. She is a cashier, and um, and uh, she's currently about twenty five feet away from us right. in the other room, within eye line. So you might see us looking off right. to the side. We're actually looking at her cute little face over there. We haven't hugged or touched Pilar in a long time. Um, we all did the two weeks of quarantine, and then we got a chance to 
to just kind of engage and then we had to go back to our separate corners. So this is how we see each other. Right before we went on, she took the mask off, but like I said, she's about 23, 24 feet away from us. And uh, when she dines with us, she dines in another room. And tonight won't be, uh, we'll, we'll be the same. Yeah, pretty much. So we have a live, live studio, studio yes. audience. Yay! Thank you for being here. If you have any questions, just go ahead and raise your hand and we could probably see you. Look here. Okay. Rhea Myers Conmacher says, cutest studio audience ever. Isn't it a great studio She's audience? From Facebook. Yeah. Thank you. Matter of yeah. fact, all of our all of our visitors right now are coming in from Facebook. Right. Oh, I'm watching on Aubrey, YouTube right now. Suzanne. Hello, Suzanne. Hi, and Suzanne. RJ is in the house. Finally RJ, made a live one. Yay. Yeah, buddy. And my sister Monica and Suzanne, you had a great um, work out today. I'm so glad your class could join us. Her class is joining us tonight. Isn't that cool? Um, and um, Flora up the street. How great yeah. is that? And Tammy's joining us again. Uh, she was here last week and she was wonderful to have. Yes, I'm up here. Um, Let me just my friend Audrey, is it okay if I talk out loud, Audrey? Yeah, she's not at work right now. She's not at work right now? Yeah. Because she said, please don't say anything. I'm at work. And then my sister said, same. Um, Deborah Hoff. Just watching your show puts puts you in a good mood. Thank you. Thank puts us you. in a good mood, Thank too. you for inviting us in. So I'm going to send Travis over to the, uh, the, skillet cam. the skillet cam. Are we keeping her on right now? Do you, you guys want to keep seeing her face? I, do I you want to keep seeing her face, or do you yeah. want me to... Let's, let's, let's give her a little face. We'll keep her on there. And, and we'll be talking over. with her as the show goes on. So tonight's dinner is a skillet dinner. Everything's made in one skillet except for the carb. We serve this dish over a rice. You can serve it over a pasta if you like, or you could just serve it plain like that. Um, this is? So this is the kielbasa, uh, apple, cinnamon um, skillet dinner. Now last week we talked about one that was uh, apples as a dessert. And we put some brown sugar in there, and we put some cinnamon and mixed it all up and buttered it, and it was just an amazing side dish to a hot and spicy meal. This week, we're actually going to use it as a component of the meal itself. So we're putting apples and sausage together with some salt and pepper. It's very easy, very fast to do. Five minutes for the sausage, five minutes for the apples or until they get soft, depending on how you chop them. And it is mm, savory, sweet, so it's, delicious. It's a pulse of kielbasa. You can do it with a chicken. You know what? Let me pull it from my freezer. Um, the lovely thing about, about this particular cut of, of meat, you can find it in a light version. You can find it in turkey. This is their traditional pulso kielbasa. You can find all beef. You can even find it uh, not in this shape, but you can find the, the long sausages in like a chicken with mm -hmm. apple. There's oh, the all different kinds of sausages that you can do. The yeah. cool thing about this, I got this for two for $7. So we're looking at $3.50 for the protein part of our meal. Yeah. Um, the apples are Granny Smith green apples because they hold up to the heat. And last week I skinned the apple, or I took the peel off of the apple because I wanted it extra soft to go with my ice cream. You can peel the apples or you can leave the skin on them. Um, right now I've just got two, um, I've got two tablespoons of butter and then I'm gonna throw the, the sausage in first and then I'll throw the apples in. It's going to take about five minutes. Wait. You got some more. I came last week. I didn't get ice cream. So you didn't get ice cream? Didn't <laughs> you didn't get ice cream? What did you make with apples and ice cream? That was last Thursday show. Was it last Thursday show? I'm a bad fan. I, I just outed myself as a bad fan. Well, we Four know you work. For years, and I'm like, what did you make last week? We know you work. And let me say something about what Pilar does for a living. Pilar is a cashier. We won't mention the place. Um, but Because this goes for all cashiers. Um, they are paid to stock shelves, ring you up, um, clean carts as they come in and make sure that they're nice and clean for you, clean shelves, clean stock. They aren't there to clean up after you. So as a friend a and a parent a of a cashier of an essential worker, I just want to say keep your trash in your car or throw it away. Every market has a trash can right there to take your gloves off carefully and dispose of them and um, and also when there's limits I know it's frustrating I know lines are frustrating 
I know that the whole kind of grocery shopping or running errands is all different now. It is not the cashier's fault. That person has been at the end of the line all day. So when you're going through, just try to remember that these are people who are getting something called hazard pay because they are making sure that we are getting food in our house and toiletries and even some of the luxuries like a nail polish that we need so or want so anyway so that's our audience member yeah. today thank um, you oh you can see she's here on the screen too oh Teresa Roar said it's late for her so I bet it's like 10 over there where she is um, or is she on the west, east coast she's on the east coast uh, Flora um, Wilcox up the street, our neighbor, says Sam's Club has a great tasting Polish sausage. Yeah, this is the same thing. The same thing. Um, I also made a loaf of bread. I was not a hero. Well, you remember, you got to look at this. Hang on, we're going to go to that camera. Solo. Bam, look at that. Show so, bam. Show them your fancy bread. This is my fancy bread. See your fancy bread. Can you see okay. it, or should I come within six feet? No, you got it. She okay. can hold, if you hold it up, she can see it. Now... Uh, some bastards went and bought all the yeast. All the yeast is gone. Gone, gone, gone. Because everybody wanted to bake bread all of a sudden. So yeast is now harder to get than crack cocaine. So don't be a hero. All this is is a French loaf out of one of those cans. You know, the pop it, oh no, pop it, oh no, pop it, one of those cans. And that's all this is. That's all this bread is. It's a beautiful French loaf. You just cook it seam side down. Put some slits in there. There you go. This is a beautiful bread ready to go. Um, I do want to make a comment here about, I know that this dish is um, high in carbs because of the rice or if you're making it with noodles. And um, I, <laughs> my daughter actually said to me, I see you, Paula Dean. I don't want to pull a Paula Dean on you. I'm not doing any secrets. I will taste some of the desserts for, for just, you know, if they're good. And also, every meal like this includes a huge green salad. And I will show you that salad when I um, serve up the meal. But I always make sure there's a green salad with protein in there for me so that the main portion of my meal is always a green salad. Coronavirus is attacking people that are like me, that are on the chunky side and have diabetes type 2. So get your walks in and make sure you're getting a lot of fruits and vegetables and keeping that carb count down. You don't want to act like I eat everything that I'm cooking. I well, would I love eat, to. I eat what she doesn't eat, so. I love you too, life. Ray. Um, Pilar, you rock. Thanks for all you do. Oh, Isn't that nice? That's what's that? Suzanne. 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 Thank you, Suzanne. She has an awesome Zumba class, and she just opened her studio for people to come in. And so... Can I just uh, say, you know how on Sunday mornings when your mom was cooking breakfast, and you smell that sausage going with the butter, whatever she was doing down there? This room is starting we, to fill up with this. Are we going to look at your... Well, yeah, we can do that. Let's, Let's do see. that. Wait, but I have questions about Zumba. <laughs> <laughs> what are your questions about Zumba? Do they have to wear masks? Do they have to social distance? Like, I, I got so many. That's a good question. How I watched today, and it looked like they had... So funny, because I, I don't actually get up. I sit there, I grab a snack, and right. I go watch <laughs> Suzanne's class. Um, <laughs> You're like, go, girls, go. Go! I got you, girls! <laughs> So that I, if they were socially distanced. They had to. Right. Uh, they were on a wait list to get in. The class was limited to ten people, I believe. Okay. But maybe Suzanne can put that on the comments yeah. uh, of yeah, how that works. I didn't see anybody with a mask, but I think they all had um, the social distancing. Because that's that, got to be hard to work out with a mask. With a mask, yeah. yeah. So let's throw that out to Suzanne if you heard the question. Maybe you can answer for us. I can't um, even walk to my car with my mask on without feeling like I'm hyperventilating. I just want to make a note right here. So I've got my sausages in there. They've been in for a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and make a well right in the middle and then put my apples in there and get those started right now. Ooh, mm -hmm. Those look good. Um, so I also promised you the world's best chocolate chip cookie. I have been in search of the world's best chocolate chip cookie since my kids could eat cookies. And I finally found a recipe. I'm not going to say it's my own because it's not. But I did a lot of research and these kids did a lot of taste testing. Sally's Baking Addiction. Sally's 
Baking Addiction. You can follow her on Pinterest, and she also has a blog. And she is just a really great baker, and she has these wonderful tips. So this is her chocolate chip recipe. You can go find her recipe there. Here's what I want to talk to you about. Some of the hacks that she uses to get those mm, cookies that just taste so good. All right. What she does is it's all about the temperature. The egg has to be room temperature. The butter, unsalted, has to be room temperature. And then you um, make your dough and you let the dough live in the fridge for eat up from two hours to two days. Just wrap it up real good and let it live in the fridge and make sure that dough is really, really, really cold. Then you make your cookie dough balls. Now here's the secret. Everybody does a regular cookie dough, cookie ball. Trav, can I get a camera? Yes, ma'am. Right, and there you go. So the cookie ball is not a ball necessarily. We were trying to figure out, Killer, do you have an idea of what this shape is? What? It's like a dome. It's not a ball. It's not a pyramid because it's not sharp. Is that where I went wrong last it's time? It's like, yeah, it's like a oh. dome. <laughs> so I see if the camera's getting it. This cookie dough was in the freezer. This freezes beautifully. And I cook, um, I bag up a dozen chocolate chip cookies so that we eat a dozen at a time. Are you guys like my family? Like, you go, oh my gosh, 48 cookies. Now we have to eat 48 cookies. For some reason, one of my daughters, believe it or not, Pilar, Anna Maria has enough willpower to make two cookies and eat two cookies. Just two? Just two. She's not my sister. <laughs> That's not my sister. So, Mike Bilbrey. <laughs> so these cookies are kind of standing up. They're not balls. They're standing up. So when they cook, when they bake, they're going to go like this. And the middle is going to stay nice and Because when I have made them, I made them like you would normally make cookies where you would make them into a ball. Well, they stayed in the shape of a ball because you have to do that cone. And they turn into like these cakey... Because you're not even like, oh, yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just blah. You don't eat anything. So it was not my best. Trav, can I give you this to put into the oven? Yep. So this is just a bag, a uh, freezer Ziploc bag, which are worth the money. They're worth the money, freezer Ziploc bags. And you just put the date right on there and what kind of cookie. And at Christmas, this last Christmas, um, and again, probably this Christmas, we're going to be watching our pennies. And I did a lot of bakes. And I spent a couple days just making dough and then uh, freezing it in shapes all ready to go. And it was really easy to just pull out of there and, and bake. Who do we have, Trav? Mike Bilbrey just walked on. Mike Bilbrey. Oh, Melinda, um, uh, Melinda Peters. Hi, Mike Bilbrey. Melinda Peters is asking to take a close-up, but I'm not sure a close-up of what. Could it be the food? Melinda, or is it the, the well, dessert? Let's, let's give them a, just a little close-up of that. Okay. Go on that. And a little extra close. How do you like that? Well, uh, oh, so you can Travis, see, it's beautiful. Yeah, you can see some of the um, some of them are, are really crisp, while some of them aren't. Sometimes you can take the sausage out, cook the apples for a little bit. Um, in the interest of time, I've often just cooked them together. And since we're on the show, I wanted to do that too. This is a really fast dinner. Usually, uh, I did chunk the apples up pretty big, though. Did you put it in cinnamon? I have not yet put the cinnamon. Okay. All right. Um. The cookies. Melinda wanted a close-up of the cookies. All right. So, Melinda, again, this is Sally's baking addiction. I don't want to take any credit for something that isn't mine. The cookies are in balls, but what you want to do is you want to kind of stand them up. Look like right there. You want to there stand them go. up there like this, go. so it's not a ball. It's kind of conical. Gosh, it's just hard to... There. Yeah. You know what it looks like? It looks like a C's candy. You know, <laughs> the ones that stand up like that, that's what it looks like. And so, again, the real trick, though, is having room temperature egg, room temperature butter, and that your dough is very, very cold, that you work with cold dough. So that's her hack, for, and then the special way that you roll them. 
So those are in the um, the oven for. Let's look at nine though to make sure. Oh, Travis, that looks beautiful. Yeah. So what I did was I added some cinnamon in there. Now that's going to give it a little bit of extra brown on the apples, but also on the. Uh, Oh my God, I just had, I got a whiff of that. It smells amazing. Can, I don't know if you can smell it over there, Pilar. Can you smell it over there yet, honey? Yeah. You can? Yeah. <laughs> so the cinnamon and the butter and the apples and the sausage are all just kind of, what would you say, Debbie? What do they do? They're, they marry. They marry up. They, they, uh, they, they, they make love. They make love. Isn't that what you said? What is wrong? It's a Chef Jose? show. Oh, hey. yeah. Chef Jose Andreas. Not, I'm stealing someone else's creepy <laughs> line. It's not just me. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that in front of you. <laughs> don't look at me, Pilar. Can I have a bread knife to cut the bread? Yes. Um, I don't want both backs to the camera, though. Okay. So, here's the bread knife. We're practicing, like I said, safe distancing. When Pilar comes over, she keeps her mask on. First of all, she stays home for three days, and then she comes over, taking her temperature constantly because where she works, that's a must. They take their temperature before they even go to work. Um, and um, I am going to kind of set up a TV tray for you, or can you do that? I can set that up. Okay. I can do that. All right. Um, okay, let's go on just the... This is ready for... Just her. this camera now. Okay. Um, so I'm going to give you some apples. Now, what I've done, again, just cinnamon, butter, apples, sausage, salt, and pepper. That's all I do. No one's going to get mad at you if you throw a little thyme in there, if you want to throw some other seasonings. You want to throw like. an onion. Some people like onions because onions do crystallize, and uh, they are really fantastic. Hi, Pilar. That's from your grandfather. Oh, got it. I couldn't see it first. All right, Melinda. Yeah. Uh, Pilar, Suzanne said no masks. But spaces are very, in capital letters, far apart, 10 feet apart, front and back and sides. I usually have 45 people limited to 10. Wow. And I'm super, she says, cautious. Super. Wow. Um, Travis made fun of me uh, when this pandemic first started because I went and got our coffee filters from outside. But these are great. Anything you would use for a, a paper towel, because, you know, paper towels are a hot commodity. You still can't find them. So you'll use fewer of your paper towels if you use these uh, these filters. I put a filter in here. Pilar has a roommate who tends to steal her hey, fun Hey, she stuff. might be watching this. <laughs> Is she watching? She borrows it indefinitely. Indefinite borrowing. Okay, what are you doing here, baby? I'm well, going to send her some. You know I'm going to show. I'm going to show this on the camera. Can we go to that camera real quick, please? And here, boom. Watch this. Look at that. <laughs> oh, apples. my goodness. You got the apples. Those sausages are cooked perfectly. This one is going to Pilar right now. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. Yep. Meanwhile, I'm going to let these apples get a little softer. Are you ready, Pilar? And the whole time that was over medium heat, by the way. How do we do in this with safe distancing? I'm gonna I'm put gonna, it right there on I'm the table. Frisbee this. To her. <laughs> Catch it! Come on, let's get this. We're gonna put it on the table. We're gonna get it on the table. Well, you can't eat with your mask on. I can try. I drink coffee with it on. You drink coffee with your mask on? Yeah, I put the straw under here because guests were giving me weird looks. Oh, can I have a? I'll eat with my hands. <laughs> There's a fork right there. <laughs> And a napkin in the drawer. I don't want any convenience you. Weirdo. What? You're not going to eat with your hands. Don't breathe. Boom. Thank you. Okay. So I have these cute little cookie tins, um, which are darling, but this screams cookies, right? So I'm sending Pilar home with this cute little tea can. Oh, oh my gosh. And I can get just as many cookies in there. I put in a little coffee filter there. And now I've got cookies that I made last night from the same recipe, and she's got them in there. And uh, nobody needs to know. For all they know is she's got a tin full of delicious breakfast uh, breakfast tea. I feel it hot. Did you burn yourself? Are you hungry? You are my daughter. Are you hungry? Yeah, what about the salad? What? Yeah. What about your salad, baby? Oh, I'm gonna get my salad. Okay. How are we doing with comments? That looks amazing. It does. It, it smells amazing. Yeah. 
It really, um, it really does. Uh, great tomatoes, Debbie says. Great tomatoes are also mm -hmm. good in there. I yeah, can Debbie see that. Ferguson, you are correct. Yes. Yeah. And my dad so, said hello to Pilar, but not to me or you. Oh, because cool. you know. Hi, Dad. Yeah. All this is I'm right here. Rest. Give me my moment. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, never mind. All this is here is a uh, green salad. This is romaine lettuce with some walnuts and some feta cheese, which you can get a fat-free feta cheese, which it tastes the same. It does taste the same We're gonna show to me. And uh, some He's tomatoes. Show you guys this. Look, at, look at how she does. You know, this is just a basic salad as far as uh, Debbie's concerned. She always puts the walnuts and the cheeses, and sometimes she'll put cranberries or strawberries in it. She makes some amazing salads. Like she said earlier, she's not really eating bigger portions of the rice and the sausage and all that. So these are, are uh, made a little bit, um, <laughs> my dad said give you a drink, made, made a little bit more to fill you up. What do you want to drink, babe? Well, he said a drink. No, uh, you're driving. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You're driving. Your camera. I have water. I already did say, I'll tell you what, I've got for you <gasps> no! Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Also, I have actually made this recipe before, and something that I will sometimes do is I make like a... Oh, hang on. Okay. <laughs> All about... Ooh. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead, man. Um, I yes. don't remember how I made it, because I was following the recipe, but there's one where you could add... Um, flour and a couple other things and make it kind of a thick sauce yeah so that was really good yeah if you want it to be like more indulgent too yeah a little thicker a little thicker we're going for a kind of a, you know we're, we're heading towards summer with memorial day right around the corner all i did is i put a little bit of salt on this mm -hmm. and i put some olive oil and this a friend of mine turned me on to bg casas my neighbor white balsamic vinegar it doesn't have that heavy excuse me, that heavy taste of the um, red balsamic. It's not as heavy, it's really light, and if you're looking for summer salads, this is the way to go. You can throw in some, uh, you, like Travis said, I do a lot of salads with fruit. We're gonna be doing some of those. I'm gonna be sending out the rest, the ingredients you'll need for next week's um, recipes. And if you can, get out your popsicle molds or order one on Amazon because I am going to venture into the world of paletas, oh God, which guys. is just Spanish for popsicles. I'm going to do mango chili for one. My, both my daughters love that well, taste. Well, she's done this before. What, do, what, are you humming over there, Pilar? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Debbie has done this before. She'll make these, these popsicles with real fruit, and they're so amazing, and they're really good for you, too. So, anyway, um, while we're waiting for our cookies and uh, to come out of the oven... Um, I want to thank you for inviting us into your home. I'm so excited to have our first real studio member here, which is so much fun for us. And Thursday, we have Denise Casares, author and licensed marriage and family therapist, and she will join us in studio right here with us to talk about uh, what you can do to eliminate some of the I guess you can't eliminate the stressors. She's coming with a tool bag of tools for us to cope with some of the things going on. If you're like if you're like us, it's like, oh, you should read more. I've read everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should watch some TV. I finished Netflix. You should take a walk. I have walked so much, my dog is going, really? Again? What is wrong with you? Um, so Denise is um, Denise Casares is uh, she also wrote a book on battling depression and she'll be here if you have any questions you'd like to ask her go ahead and shoot them to me between now and Thursday morning and we can get those to her and the meal that night is going to be a very stress-free meal very stress-free we're gonna have a lot of fun with it all right um, the cookies how much longer do they have well, 45 seconds looks, uh, yeah about that did you look at it yet Ooh, no. Those cookies have a, a while to go. We're going to give them a couple minutes there. But you did see the finished product and how I put it in the little tin and how you can make a dozen at a time. Or if you have willpower like Anna Maria Kahnemacher, you can do two at a time. How did she do two cookies at a time? <laughs> I don't understand. Um, so I'm just checking, uh, checking the feed. Someone said, my dad actually said we keep freezing up. 
Uh, is anyone else having any issues? Anybody just let having us know issues? In the let us know. Yeah, echoing, whatever it is, just let us well, know. Well, I corrected that problem last week. Yeah. I was trying to use an H1 Zoom audio recorder. We got some other mics now, but um, we just want to make sure that you get the best show possible. And um, on that note, what Debbie was talking about with the uh, you should do this, you should do that to help relieve stress, you know, we're so conditioned to keep going. And so a lot of the stress, I feel, at least uh, what I noticed with my team and my friends, is that it starts with us, the expectations we have on our, our own selves, because we're so conditioned to be going constantly and, um, and continue to busy yourself. So... Right now, I think the first thing you can do is give yourself a break, and Debbie has the ideal dinner for, for Thursday when um, <laughs> when Denise comes. I'm really excited for you guys for that. We're going to have fun. Look at this. I've given it another two minutes. Two um, minutes. We'd like to say thank our audience member uh, today, and we do have a special announcement for the audience members. Um, we're going to, uh, since they're sitting on the couch, they can't look under their chair to see if they want a gift or not. But we're going to ask all the audience members to give a look behind their chairs. Behind your chair. Behind your chair and see if you are the lucky winner. You get a car. No, it's not a car. We already got it. You won! Oh, you won! What did you get? Oh my God, I needed this. What? Toilet paper! <laughs> yes. Yay! Hey, don't use all that in, in, in one place. No, this is gold right now. This is currency. And then... <gasps> a mask all ready to go. I want to coffee with this one, I promise. Okay, that's a good mask. Ready to go. Oh! Ooh, it's sparkly. It's sparkly hand sanitizer. Oh, sparkly <laughs> hand sanitizer. You were sanitized by a fairy. Hey, yeah. All right, everybody. And I don't know if it's in there. Probably not, but we're also giving her... A car? Some leftovers. <gasps> leftovers! Slip it into the bag. Yeah. You can pick something out of the freezer. Are we taking these out, baby? Nope. I told you don't slam the oven door. Oh, sorry. What happened? Feed has been good. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny Kavanaugh. Johnny's close to where my dad's at, so I think my dad's is creating problems. All right, everybody. We got a little longer to wait on these cookies. Thank you for your patience. Again, a big thank you to our studio, studio audience member, Hilary Townsend. Thank you to all of us, all of you for following us and inviting us into your living room. We love you for it. We love you. Anything you want to see on this show, just let me know. I'm open to suggestions and ideas. Look for the recipes for tonight. And don't forget to join us Thursday live at 7 o'clock on Facebook or YouTube. And we're going to have with us Denise Casares, licensed marriage family therapist, to help us work through some of our anxiety. All right, ready?